The Russell Famous Paradox Welcome back to our channel, today, we are unraveling the enigmatic Russell's famous paradox, a puzzle that has baffled minds for decades. Join us as we explore this paradoxical conundrum and attempt to demystify its intricate layers of logic and reasoning. Prepare to be captivated as we journey into the mind-bending world of Russell's famous paradox. The Russell Paradox, also known as Russell's Paradox or the russell ramsey Paradox, is a famous logical paradox in set theory, discovered by the eminent philosopher and mathematician, Bertrand Russell, in 1901. This paradox challenges the foundations of naive set theory and paves the way for the development of more rigorous axiomatic systems in mathematics. At its core, Russell's paradox is concerned with the concept of a set that does not contain itself as an element. To understand the paradox, we must first grasp the notion of a set. In set theory, a set is a collection of distinct objects, known as elements. For example, the set of all positive even integers less than 10 is 2, 4, 6, 8. Now, let's consider a set S containing all sets that do not contain themselves. Formally, we can define S as follows, S equals, XX is a set and X is not an element of X. The paradox arises when we ask the question, does S contain itself? If S does contain itself, then it must satisfy the properties of being in S, leading to a contradiction. On the other hand, if S does not contain itself, it also satisfies the properties of being in S, again leading to a contradiction. To illustrate this, Suppose S does not contain itself, according to the definition of S, this means S should be an element of S. However, this contradicts the assumption that S does not contain itself. Conversely, if S does contain itself, then by its own definition, S should not be an element of S. Again, we run into a contradiction. Russell's paradox raises fundamental questions about the logical consistency of naive set theory. This theory, formulated by George Cantor in the late 19th century, was intuitive but lacked rigorous foundations. According to Cantor's theory, any well-defined property could be used to define a set. However, the discovery of the paradox by Russell demonstrated that certain properties lead to logical contradictions. In response to the paradox, mathematicians and logicians sought to develop alternative set theories that avoided such contradictions. This led to the development of axiomatic set theories, such as zermelo frankel set theory ZF, which introduced explicit axioms to define sets and avoid paradoxes like Russell's. The resolution of the Russell paradox within ZF set theory lies in the concept of a well-founded relation. ZF assumes that any set can be well-ordered, which means there is a distinguished element in the set that is smaller than all other elements. Using this concept, ZF avoids the paradox by restricting the construction of sets that lead to circular references. Moreover, the Russell paradox has far-reaching implications across various disciplines. It has influenced the philosophy of mathematics, prompting a re-evaluation of foundational assumptions. Additionally, the paradox's recursive nature has connections to other logical paradoxes, such as the liar paradox, which deals with self-reference. In conclusion, the Russell Paradox is a seminal logical paradox discovered by Bertrand Russell in 1901. It challenges the foundations of naive set theory by presenting a contradiction when attempting to define a set that does not contain itself. This paradox played a significant role in the development of more rigorous axiomatic set theories, such as zermelo frankel set theory. Understanding Russell's paradox and its implications is essential for anyone interested in the foundations of mathematics and logic. Thank you for joining us on this intellectual adventure as we have navigated the intricate and mesmerizing labyrinth of Russell's famous paradox. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep expanding the boundaries of knowledge.